these two teams have to finish off their season because I thought, you know, both teams left everything on the floor. Um, and I think uh, Vic's done a remarkable job getting the Mississippi State basketball back on the map. Uh, I told him after the game, we played some pretty good defensive teams all year. Uh, and we struggled. We struggled to get open. We struggled to uh, come off of screens. Uh, State did as good a job as anybody. We played some pretty good basketball teams this year. Uh, you know, I, I think this game really never got it. Second half, the game never got into a flow. You, know, you had, you had uh, 38 fouls called. Uh, so it was, it was an ugly basketball. Uh, Kendra Grant was very tough to guard, uh, especially down the stretch. We went no catch on her, and uh, she was just elevating and shooting right over us. We start, you know, we're we're in, with with Akila McDonald and Courtney Williams and Indora Kova in foul trouble. That really hurt us. We're we're a different type of basketball team without those guys on the floor. But. Uh, you know, these guys just found a way to to get it done. Can you talk about final plug that you drew up? Well, we wanted to go misdirection, have Jenkins come off one way, you know, off the baseline side. We brought our point guard as a decoy on a little circle, and then we had Inga flare out, so it would open the whole right side of the floor out, and that's what it that's what it did for Courtney. You know, and at the end there, uh, you know, she got a good look and ball went in. You know, I know it's a tough way to lose, but we should have done a much better job on the other end when State, you know, got that basket. We didn't cover down to the backside block. You know, and everything gets magnified. You know, everybody's going to remember that last play. But there's 80 possessions in a basketball game. I think, uh, you know, both teams left a lot of points uh, on the free throw line, and both teams also uh, missed some very easy interior stuff. You know, uh, I've been coaching a long time. I've never had to go to a monitor four times in a basketball game. So I don't, I mean, that was, that was something uh, in itself. But. Can you talk about uh, the persistence that your kids had? Uh, I saw what you remarked to the official, my kids can't move, uh, especially Inga. She was able to continue to, to try to get open, and she hit some open shots, and yeah. you guys shot nearly 54% the second half. She hit open shots because she flared and faded. You know, I just thought we couldn't cut. There wasn't, there wasn't freedom of movement on both sides. You know, because we were going. Then we did the same thing on the other end. You know, and uh, you know, they're, the, they were trying to get it inside to uh, uh, to Martha. You know, and and, and all those guys. I think uh, McDonald and Weber and Martha. It was a wrestling match all night between all those guys. You know, in there, right? Uh, there was a lot of contact. Uh, but you know, I thought the game was called. It was called both. You know, but you know that they let both teams really, really play. You know, but, uh, like I said, it's a shame one of them, somebody had to lose in that fashion. But because both teams really competed and fought, you know, to continue to play in the postseason. And then uh, the confidence in Courtney. Take that shot. Is there any question as, as a team leading scorer that you're going to go to? Her? I think she. I think she was really disappointed that she, you know, she got into the foul trouble that she did, and she sat uh, as many minutes as she did. But she's the type of kid that wants the ball in her hand. You know, us coaches, you want to get your best player the basketball, and she got it and got a good look, and the ball went in.